of course, with these guys feel, yeah, they feel like they, they got to go back and forth. So this could be really fun. You know, this is my favorite matchup to commentate in all of This is my too. favorite matchup in the game. Yeah, right. I agree. Uh, dittos are, are, of course, interesting, but this is like the highest imbalance of characters. I, I love it. It's basically whichever character gets a nice touch to start off and gets an opening, they can take them really far. Already S fat. Going out that a, up throw, yeah. Yeah, that was a nice fair, too. Reading the DI in and getting some extra percent. Good job on the up tilt, ending it before uh, the DI away onto the platform. So right now, he is going to build percent up to uh, like a fair or tipper range, maybe even a aerial combo. Yeah, he's right at, I was going to say, he's at the meaty part where if he gets a knockdown, he could have played it really well, but good oh, stuff. that's a oh. good shine. That's a great shine. That's a day one Mars stuff, man. I jump into that shine. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You want to be very careful with your aerial resources. As soon as Fox spots one out, he will shine it. Yeah, that area too. It's like if you if you do either of your laggy like side B or jump, mm -hmm. Fox fast enough to easily to react and cover oh, yeah. with the back air or shine, and so that's exactly what Sfat did. Great reactions from Sfat, keeping it easy and clean. Moon is trying to take it back. Already has a percent deficit. Yeah. And I love that little fade back, the pull on the fair that he did. Yeah, stronger sword. Yep. Oh, but he shield. waits just a little too long, but he catches the jump. So if Fox can get that shield out in three frames. We saw that Moon was again trying to line up. For uh, what he did on the first recovery, he missed it, but he did get it on the second Yeah, he got the, the best timing right there, and Shield did not come up this mm -hmm. time. It's just amazing how fast he gets out. It's nuts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he misses his platform waveline opportunity, and was a little stuck on platform, misses Shield Drop. Watch out for Moon. He is known for his aerial style. We talked about this in the crowd a little bit, about how uh, he's yeah. willing to jump more in this matchup than some other parts. Yeah, he knows, like, traditional wisdom says you got to stay grounded, right? But Moon shows that if you can mix up your opponent with, you know, effective drift aerials, especially like we saw the pullback fares, you know, just be as tricky as possible. That's not going to expect it. Ooh, what Ooh. a capture on the platform. And I like what you said about mix-ups because it, it's not straightforward. You can't... Oh, that was a down air. That was a down air. He, oh, he's dead. Oh. Do you think that was too much or a technical input? I think if he had just down it, it would have been done. He caught him DIing in the fair, and then he just flubbed it. And yeah, it that like was a stock swing. Yeah, that looked like a Ken combo to me. Two stock swing for SFAT. Looking very good for him in game one. And this, is, this illusion is very difficult to edge guard, yeah, especially when you time your jump like that. And SFAT was putting it right on the edge, too, getting edge cancel every time, pretty much. Yeah. The mix-up between edge cancel and shorten. Oh, so good. And he gets that wave line up here. Oh, not enough to kill. That was beautiful, percent. So if you're Moon, I think you just try and finish up the stock, maybe collect a little bit more data for the next game. But that's it. That was, you know, that was a huge turning point, missing that, that Ken that stock swing. It was yeah. so much. Because it went from would have been tied 2-2, low percent, to SFAT up a full stock plus change. And then... Yep. Just rode that momentum. And he out. rode that change the whole way through, yeah. yeah. And I, I like what you said about keeping yourself in the game. You never know what can happen, but you also need to scout out for multiple games. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, best of five, baby. You got plenty of time to adapt. Mm -hmm. Yoshi's is a strong pick for Marth. Uh, however, personally, as I play Marth, I find it much more difficult nowadays. Fox has uh, access to double shine and perfect ledge dashes. So watch out for the corner pressure. Yeah, perfect ledge dash. <laughs> Where you get like 80% of the stage, you just go from one ledge to the other, completely <laughs> invincible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool, cool character. <laughs> he misses his tipper opportunity. That would have been a big, wow, ledge oh. into stage. Nice, smart counter. And, oh, oh, did not get the tech. Moon sealing out that stock. That's a low percent up air. And, and that's one of the other weaknesses about this map, is the ceiling is the lowest in the game, and Mark doesn't have the best vertical. I mean, up tilt's okay. Yeah, but that was like, s has gotten multiple single hit up airs now in the first two games. First game in like a half. So that's gonna be key here, is if you can avoid the giving your, hit. yeah, if you're, basically, he's not even giving the moon the chance to s guy. Like, look at that, just every Only time. second hit, right? Beautiful. But dead even. Sfat doing some full hot mix-ups, and I like the running shine. This is the corner pressure I was talking about. Shine? Yeah. Great, great uh, form from Sfat. Yeah, Moon going a little bit too high on that up B, which, ha like, if you have to up B and then come back, oh, wow. It's like usually you just kind of let it rip a little early, and Sfat did a great shine on a shield, but the big old tipper. You yeah, set up from that there. Great combo. Sfat, <laughs> stone cold, stand still. Oh, my God. Now, Marth will do this a lot. He'll zone attacks right in front of Fox due to his high speed. You want to predict him moving into you. Wow, great Ooh, platform. Nice. There you go, good shield just to... The timing was a little off. He went for a mix-up of some sort. Wow, reverse fair. Have you seen that? To the stage? Oh, nah, I was going to say that close to the ground. Yeah, right? All right, we should just line it up. Yep. 
S Fat trying to get the like super super super, super angle. angle. Oh, that's so. I, when I do that, dude, near, when I do that near, yeah. I die every time. <laughs> yep, uh, that is exactly what I was gonna say, and that was beautiful. Just go out and get him by the moon. And Great that's reverse up B, because I was thinking fair myself, but he had the confidence to to space the tipper up B. Great gameplay from the moon. And I like that too, because you know what? Even if you're that far away. You know, he was at mid 30% way off stages. Even if you're not going to come back, it's going to kill him. And he had a stock to give anyways in the, like, the random opportunity where, like, let's say, like, Phantom, for Yeah, example. absolutely. He would have been fine. And I love stock that risk-taking by uh, by the moon, even though it was pretty safe. Some people don't know this, but Mart's up B is, uh, I think the knockback is the same as Tipper. It's really strong. It's if so you get strong. that base hit. Yeah. yeah. So this is a very obvious counterpick choice. Oh, we try to go for the super hard Mega Reed. There Great position from the moon. I love that. Wow. Yeah, I was going to say, covering, he just covered that up throw, or excuse me, the fourth throw Look at this positioning. down tilt. He goes for the soft F smash just to get the edge guard, and S fat with the great defense gets that sweet spot. Ooh, still no jump. Oh, a oh, little bit of timing there. S fat's going to do a great job of recovering with an edge cancel. Every time, man. Every yeah. time. And then the immediate jump out, too, because it looked like Moon was even expecting it. And it's for him still to hard drop to down. cover. Yeah. yeah. The full jump off the edge cancel, almost impossible, I think. And I love that, just the down tilt, the cover going to ledge. And even if he did decide to go high, you have plenty of time to react and jump up. Moon getting grabbed at this wrong percent. This is the worst. It's good, Dreamland's fine. Oh, that's so dangerous. He just the burned jump. the side. Yeah, he burned the side B and the double jump. Somehow just drifting back to edge, S Fat playing it safe with shield. So once again, S Fat evening it up. Yeah, quite even game. The challenges of this stage, of course, are the vertical height. For Marth, he cannot jump easily against Fox. Oh, shark at him. Oh, even on the weak down there, he's still got it. What a combo. Goes he's... for the edge hog, perhaps covering Shorten. Yeah, I think he was going for the hard read, and that is going to... Oh, the mix What tipper bear? What? Now, SFS DI was really good, so there's a chance that Dare would not have connected. But he's still holding out. Tipper bear, not a common move. Great catch. Oh, try to catch him just lazily falling the ledge. Yeah, I'm real surprised Moon got back. This back air has a jump. Yeah. Look at that positioning. Great shine from Asfat. Back to even. This game has been extremely even. Oh, and he waits out the spot dodge on the jab reset. Yeah, great Patience. spacing and timing. Oh, bye. <laughs> See ya. Oh, good. <laughs> Just put him in the trash can. Dude, it's hard to know when to DI the tipper, especially if he drifts differently. He went for that tipper that time and should have... Uh, yeah, differently. He just works his way out of the corner with the nair into down air. Yeah, and covers the spot dodge with that. It's timing. Great gameplay from the moon. Asfet's looking a little timid on the edge, not willing to go off stage ever. Oh, yeah. Caught him with jumping up. And that's going to be just a roll up from ledge. Yeah, great full hop positioning. Barely dodging the fair. Yeah, so we've seen it multiple times where Moon's been recovering with a little bit of just like risky business right around the area where, like we said, Fox can either shine or back air. And we've seen it. The next step has Smith. worked and it hasn't worked. And yeah. it kind of surprises me that it works at this level, right? Because we've talked about us using it ourselves, attacking, jumping, and getting punished for it. And Moon's got to be careful because Fox is approaching that percent where you're not going to be able to string anything together. It's just going to be straight hits. Yeah. You're going to knock him off. It's an edge guard. And you know his mix ups are so strong. Oh, they're rolling. Oh, the patience. Fox will be does, all right. Fox does not suffer this problem at every percent. Oh, my God. That was almost it. Oh, Moon just stuck a shield. Oh, he just jabbed what? and spot dodged spot it. Spot dodge. Great, oh, my God. Great SDI down or a uh, crouch cancel. Oh, and he jabbed it to put him off stage. And oh, there it is again. He had the jump fair. The pop off oh. from the jab. Sent Martha up right into shine spot. Oh, very tough. Moon was looking very good on that difficult counter pick. He was. He was looking pretty crisp. And then that oh. zero to death kind combo was just a was strong beautiful. momentum shift in him. And then S Fat bringing him back with great edge guards. Really, I have to hand it to him. Great edge guarding from S Fat. And look at this. So the Moon choosing not to take S Fat to FD. Interesting. Some uh, Marts believe that without chain grab, FD is too difficult. And uh, I sympathize with this myself. Fox juggling you from above, man, it's tough. Yeah, and Asphat does also like the stage a lot. So it's going to be interesting. Counter himself against Mewtwo King. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really interesting to see how the Moon utilizes platforms here. He's having a little bit of difficulty getting off of them with shield drops. Um, 
And I think this might benefit S Fat a little bit more, depending on where the platform height eventually ends up. Mm -hmm. If if Moon ever gets stuck above the platforms, it's definitely Fox's favor. Oh, and the Sakurai combo, he was trying to jab it. Great shrine out of the shield. Oh, got him. bear. Not percent, doesn't matter your DI. That was good out. awareness by S Fat too, to yeah. know that like maybe he could have SDI that easily out with that much percent on the up air. Agreed. So he went for the back air instead. Definitely agree. Oh, see ya. Moon using that up yet a shield, one of the best kill moves in escapes. Love it. And it comes out frame five. The sound comes out frame one though, so it's pretty sad. Like <laughs> you hear, you hear it? It, especially like let's say you you, you oh, do it sad. when you get grabbed. It's, it's so sad. You're like, I yeah, heard oh my it. God. I heard it. And there's a little bit of invincibility too, right? So mm -hmm. it's like oh, just timing. As he's, getting a kick. It's dangerous. He, he had no side B. But he had a jump. He saved the jump. Mm -hmm. Good mix up on the aerial resources, right? Wow. Oh my god. Who saw that tipper coming? Great position by the moon. Gets detail and grab. Oh, and look at the moon. He's just shrugging. He basically f forced a lot of spaghetti out of S Fat, but yeah, was unable to punish. That's the tough part, right? Even if you are in a good position, Fox is so fast. Up smash. What a great kill move. He's about to enter that Marth percent where it's going to be very difficult to find a kill. Grab the ledge. Good job. Marth missed. Oh, no. Oh, and so Moon has been doing that a lot. He's been doing a lot of Nair from ledge and Nair around ledge rather than maybe trying to go out and, and make it easier on himself. He could have gone down there in a beat. He also could have gone fair. Yeah, off stage. Drop down. Yeah, drop down back here. Oh, yeah, what? Like, that, that, it's both so using, scary. Yeah, you use both resources near the, the edge, and then you get knocked off with nothing. No jump, no side B. It's it's so scary. It's like it's walking home with no shoes, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, again? Oh, and that's, position, position, that's a sweet spot. spot. Yeah. S-Fat's at very low percent. Take him out. Yep, great timing. All I've right. seen Mango do that one a bunch. So move potentially on his last stock in winners. But he does have a knockdown here. Oh, I love that, that he faked out. Okay, Ryan, I see you. Moon. Moon. Oh, Messing up that. Nothing. That's more than once we've seen that, where he jumps from the edge. A little awkward timing. A bit interesting. Or you can just. <laughs> interesting, man. 100 plus fair. Get it. Three seconds on that down here. Yeah, he basically had enough time to read a book and then set it up and still get that dare. That was crazy. Oh, we gotta be careful. He's got nothing? No jump. Still no jump, grabs the ledge, he's fine. As Fed dash go. dances into a grab, that's very tough for him. Oh no, up smash, but no, oh, he gets stuck in shine? Yeah. As Fed missing some good opportunities that he opened himself for, and he's coming back on the offense. Oh, that was a real push into, that was a super push into dash attack. He's got it, yep, great saving of the uh, of the side B. Yep, delay oh, the roll. Oh my gosh. Moon dash dancing real good in the corner. One dash attack is the mix up. Oh, how do you get around the shine? Shine grab is so good. Oh, he's still living. But he's got nothing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just lets him get right back to the ledge. Multiple times we've seen Moon just drift and grab. Oh my gosh. He's there. Not there nothing. Notch. And he reads the tech in. Reads the tech in with a hand. Oh my god. It's no way. Oh, s was like, Great he was thinking about it. He was definitely <laughs> thinking about it. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. Oh, that's it. He caught him in the Sp corner. Space. Space to bear, man. You can wall out with Bear so long. That was a uh, that was a three one. That was a lot of spaghetti on that last stop, dude. Man. Both of them <laughs> cornered themselves and play poorly, and that's what happens, man. Last last stock, you're trying to fight for for game five.